Since the 1950s, scientists have used human cells to conduct research and discover new treatments for diseases, saving hundreds of thousands of lives in the process. Many of these innovations can be traced back to Henrietta Lacks, whose cells were taken without her consent. Henrietta was a wife and mother who lived in Baltimore with her husband Henry Day and five children. In 1951, at the age of 31, she was diagnosed with cervical cancer and treated at John Hopkins Hospital, one of the few in the United States that offered care to both black and white patients. Henrietta's cancer treatments were unsuccessful and she passed away later that year. But what her grieving family did not know was that the cells of their beloved Henny actually lived on. Before she died, scientists at John Hopkins realized that a group of Henrietta's cells kept on reproducing every 20 to 24 hours. Unlike most human cells, which perished in the lab after just a few days, Henrietta's cell line was immortal. Aware that her cells held the potential for groundbreaking research, scientists harvested and tested them without the family's consent, which was not legally required at the time. Codenamed HeLa cells, they were subsequently used in over 75,000 biomedical studies. Notably, U.S. scientist Jonas Salk used HeLa cells to develop the world's first successful polio vaccine. And NASA sent them into space to learn how zero gravity affects human cells. The Lacks family went over 20 years before they learned the truth, after a scientist contacted them for blood samples. Although Henrietta's cells contributed to a multi-billion dollar industry, her family went without recognition or compensation for decades. Now, due in part to their efforts, federal laws require consent before using human cells in research. Why is consent so important within the medical community? 